Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. It's wonderful to be in your home. Today is Thursday, October 18th, and we are live every Thursday morning. We have a great hour ahead of us. Later on, we'll be talking with Tacoma City Ballet. Miss Erin is here with Joel and Belle, and they have a very uh, timely production that you're going to find out about and uh, certainly want to buy tickets for. And then Tacoma Opera is here, uh, talk about their latest production. I always love it when Noel shows up. He's a very busy man, but he always brings me such romantic, passionate people who live uh, the life of opera singers and conductors, so you don't want to miss that. And then the Crystal Judson family Family Justice Center is here. Uh, it's that time of year that we want to check in with them and talk about their services, how you can volunteer, and how you can also help if you suspect that somebody is a victim of domestic violence. And then with me right now are two very sparkly, very outgoing and intelligent women who are here to talk about the City Events and Recognition Committee and the Tacoma uh, Area Commission on Disabilities. So please join me in welcoming back Crystal Monteros, how are you, my dear? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. It's great to have you back in the studio. And just so folks know, you are uh, the Tacoma. You are on the Tacoma Area Commission on Disabilities, and you are a member of that. Yes, I am. And I say thank you so much for that and for your time because this is not a paid position. You have a day job and other things you do. Um, so we're going to get into that and uh, hear about all the great. Um, uh, events coming up and also some opportunities for people. So thanks for being here. You brought with you this woman over here, Miss Ashley Jones. You are the vice chair of the City Events and Recognition Committee. Welcome back, Miss Ashley. Thank you. Okay, let's look at those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. We were talking about these <laughs> shoes before um, the uh, camera clicked on, and I got a, got a note that those shoes match the lipsticks. So oh, as yes. far as my <laughs> southern Mima would be concerned. Honey, you are styling. Thank you. Well, there we go. So, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of styling, uh, we have a couple of exciting events coming up here. Yes. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's on tap and what the you and this committee are working night and day on, Ms. Ashley. All right. Well, right now we are in the season of planning MLK celebration for oh, yeah. 2019. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, we're, we've added another... Um, nomination mm. so we are looking for some youth um, emerging leaders to recognize um, so we have those um, those award nominations available now online Ooh. Um, also the um, just the community uh, members that we normally recognize we're looking for more we're getting started with auditions for entertainment mm. um, we will be bringing back the the choir oh, that, yes I yeah, love the choir the choir was really rec um, requested oh, so we have to honor that and we know that man yes Nate Bowen he's so amazing year. yeah yeah that was a great um, speech that he so had as well oh yes mm -hmm. I, I, lo I love it that, that you have this from last year because um, you know, we get to see these people around Tacoma, um, and sometimes you look at them and go, I think I know you. Yeah. Um, but you may not know them facially, but you know them by their deeds, and that is what I think is really knowing. Who is, who is that beautiful woman right there? Um, she was <clears throat> she was talking about her foundation. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and, and it was actually great that we had the students up there with the um, art, going on at the same time because um, she kind of touched on some of the things that she's done in the community to uh, to help other other people around so that was great I love this so let's the annual awards that you were talking about just to remind folks um, what does it exemplify what are you looking for we're always looking for um, those those com those committed uh, members in the community mm -hmm. um, that do the work 
you know, and we always want to hear those stories. We yes. always want to hear them from, you know, their loved ones or their colleagues or, or whoever could recognize the best. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the emerging uh, leader, which is great. I think the age bracket is like 30 and, and under. Nice. Like 18 to 30. And so it gives... It gives those who are kind of um, kind of grounded in their work mm -hmm. and then ready to kind of, you know, say, yes, I did this. Absolutely. Have you seen it? You know, like, have you heard of what I've been doing? And gives them a chance to kind of um, be recognized as well. So that's that's great. I love that because that age bracket, I, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm sure if I am, uh, you'll let me know. We have 40 under 40. Yeah. But we don't have anything for that age bracket. Yeah. And that's. That's a huge time in people's lives yeah. from 18 to 30 when they're busy going to school. They're probably working three jobs to keep themselves full of pizza, mm -hmm. uh, studying. And the, and if you've got someone who has time to devote themselves selfishly to our community, boy, right. we need to recognize yeah, that, right. don't we? We Definitely. do. Definitely. Let's talk about the 2018 Martin Luther King Jr. birthday celebra celebration event. What do you got on tap? Well, um, last year was the 30th. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, last year was the 30th anniversary. So this year will be 31st. So we are still planning the, the keynote speaker. Uh, we have a great theme. Um, we're better together. So yes, we are. Yeah. So we, we kind of want to keep that acknowledgement and, and just kind of hope to bring in more of the diverse uh, families and you know different uh, groups together and just celebrate absolutely celebrate everything I, I love that phrase that we are better together because never has there been a time in my lifetime I'll speak for me mm -hmm. when our country has been so divided as it is now yes and it is time to come together and to put those differences aside regardless of what media says mm -hmm. and especially in the city of destiny, mm -hmm. um, where we are such a diverse melting pot. That's why I live here. Mm -hmm. And I expect all of my brothers and sisters to get in the same boat and row in the same direction. Yes. Um, so there we have it. So give me an idea. I mean, I want you to give away all the surprises. Because <laughs> I know this committee has always got something in the hopper. Yeah. But what will the attendees see and experience at the MLK event? And let's take it from somebody perhaps who has never seen this event before okay um you know right off the bat i i hope everyone will be happy to see the the choir come back oh yeah and let's just rock the house with them right. mm -hmm. yeah um we also are working to get our keynote so that is kind of a an up and down situation we're hoping to collaborate with other events and other um, organizations that do Martin Luther King celebrations on the same day so that we can have a cohesive celebration this year. Yes, yeah. I love that. So let's let's um, move on to um, Crystal here because I want to talk with you about uh, what motivated you to become the com to become a commissioner with the Commission on Disabilities and what have you learned since joining this commission? Well, what motivated me was actually before I was a commissioner, um, about two years before, I won the title of uh, Miss Wilkshire Washington. I didn't know that. I did. And in 2010, I was a, um, the title holder. Nice. And with that, I was actually um, depressed when I uh, won the title. Mm -hmm. So just the fact that I was going through depression. Wow. And I was still able to win the title. Amazing. That myself just kind of encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, I actually did this. That's right. And then my sister, who actually I was talking to you about earlier, mm -hmm. she um, works within the city and all that kind of doing different things and stuff. She told me the the um, commission was kind of looking for people. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, okay, well, I'll just try, see if it happens. And? You know? And literally the same day they got back to me, the same day of my interview, they got back to me like, hey, you're on the commission. Mm. You know, and it ended and up- here you are. You know? So take us through uh, a busy day in your life from morning to evening. And as you take us through that, help us understand some of the obstacles that you encounter as you navigate your day in your chair, let's say, as you, as you head out for an event. 
Um, right now, what I am encountering right now is with a lot of my medication that I take because I have seizures. I'm battling a lot of the side effects with like weakness and tiredness mm -hmm. and everything. So just from the very beginning, I literally have to set like three alarms in order to just get up. <laughs> yes. You know, um, so from from the get go, I'm battling that. But um, just with a lot of the, the curb cuts and, you know, I, I take public transportation. So no. with a lot of the curb cuts and sidewalks and everything, I have to be really careful of like with my weakness when I start to get tired and everything, just trying not to fall out of my wheelchair when I'm trying to, you know, go over all those, you know, um, bumps and things like that. When I start to get weak, I have to really concentrate and all that when I start to get tired and along the day. So You are amazing. I, I look at the, the energy in your eyes <laughs> and uh, when I hear that you have to set three alarms, yeah. Uh, you, this morning. <laughs> you let this refine you. It doesn't define yeah. you because I would never look at you and think mm -hmm. that you are a person who battles fatigue because um, uh, you have such a vibrant spirit and a beautiful aura about you. you. So, Crystal, um, I know that I, th I was at one point somebody who shared these thoughts that I assumed that once the American Disability Act passed, that the troubles for people with disabilities were solved. Um, mm -hmm. Is that true? No. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so um, what is the work that we need to do to make life accessible for all people with disabilities? Um, there is a lot that still needs to be done that people don't realize. Um, there's a lot that I'm working on right now. Um, one major thing for me that I'm realizing just within the last couple of years is just kind of social inclusion. Mm -hmm. okay. For one, um, with and an example I'm going to use is like with me and just with my family, being in like restaurants and stuff. Mm -hmm a lot of times I'm still considered like a fire hazard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. And like sitting at certain tables, I'm not even in restaurants or anything, but certain, sitting at certain tables, like because the tables are so close to each other and everything, and if I'm sitting at the end of the table mm -hmm. and everything, if, if I have a lot of people sitting at the table and I'm at the end of the table, mm -hmm a lot of times I'm considered a fire hazard and they want me to move to a different table. But it's like, in my opinion, I'm sitting you're there you because family. you sat me there. That's right. So if you're gonna sit me there, don't sit me there don't, if I'm a fire. Don't count me out. You know, like. Absolutely. I am so glad that you are on this committee because it's that kind of enlightenment that we all need to hear. Um, we have less than a minute. It goes by so quickly. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna refer our audience to the website we've been showing so they can look at um, the uh, Disability Advocate award and the kind of nominations and what's needed and I want to go right into thank yous because I know that both of you really care about that and are so full of gratitude so who do we need to thank Ashley first oh I would definitely like to thank uh, Mayor Wooder yes she helped us with our theme this year and she's really passionate about this year's celebration and um, having the choir of course come back so absolutely yeah. what about you Miss Crystal who would you like to thank um, I would definitely like to thank the city of Tacoma anything and um the executive director oh um, i love that i want to thank the two of you because uh you the, 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 this this committee is not something you get paid for mm -hmm. uh it in these events are planned year round they take a lot of your time mm -hmm. i mean we're talking 10 15 hours a week of planning emails everything and you do this out of the uh, goodness and gratitude that's in your heart. So you are already an example of a Citizen Recognition City of Destiny Award winners. I have two of them right in front yeah. of me. Okay. So thank you so much for what you do. And uh, good luck in your planning. And I want you back here in a couple months to check thank in, you. okay? Definitely. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Deal. All right. Thank you so much. When we come back after just a little bit of musical chairs, we'll have the Crystal Judson Family Justice Center here. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.